welcome to the show. Today we are making eggnog. If this is your first time with us, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We've got a lot of good recipes coming your way. So my buddy James Mackinson, who has another channel, just did eggnog. And I'm gonna make eggnog myself. It's gonna be completely different though. We use the same ingredients, but the techniques and the methods are completely different. I'll leave a link to his video at the end of this so you can check it out. The ingredients I have are one and a quarter cups of heavy cream, two and a half cups of whole milk, half cup of bourbon, sugar. We've got just under a half cup of sugar and a little extra sugar, maybe a little bit more. It's about four teaspoons worth of sugar. You'll see why I separated it in a minute. A fresh nutmeg and a vanilla pod. I almost forgot. Eggs. We're going to use five eggs today. Alright, so I put all my ingredients over here. We're going to get started. First thing is you want to use chill bowls for this. So I got the bowls chilling down there. You don't want them frozen, you just want them cold. One of the differences in this eggnog and others is we're not cooking the eggs. If you're squeamish about uncooked eggs, well, most eggs are pasteurized anyway. You get pasteurized eggs, you don't need to cook them. But make sure to check out James's channel if you want to see a great recipe for eggnog that is cooked. So here we go. First thing you want to do is separate your eggs. All right, I'm gonna show you a trick to separating eggs. Always break them into a middle bowl and then put the whites in one bowl and the yolk in another bowl. That way, if you mess up, the mess up happens in one bowl and you don't ruin either the egg whites or the egg yolks. I always use the method where you just let it slide between your fingers. It's a lot easier than doing the shell thing back and forth. So, yolk goes in there. Whites go into the other bowl. All right, now we got separated egg yolks from the egg whites. You wanna beat the egg yolks until they turn a really bright yellow color. And you're gonna add your sugar at the same time. You want to make sure to add the sugar very slowly too. See how the color changed on that. That's what you're looking for. At this point, we're gonna add our liquid, the heavy cream and milk. Don't just dump it all in at once and mix it. Do it gradually. going to see it froth up a bit. That's what you're looking for here. Now's the time where we're going to add some nutmeg. You don't need a lot. It's very important to use fresh nutmeg here. Don't buy the pre-ground stuff for this. You only need a fraction of a teaspoon. That should be good. All right, so I was gonna add a vanilla bean to it, or part of a vanilla bean, but dry, useless crap. Make sure you get fresh vanilla beans. 
Yeah, real quick, I wanted to give you guys a tip on vanilla beans. When you go to buy them, you should look for a place where you can inspect them before purchasing. They should feel leathery and pliable to a certain degree. If they feel dry and brittle, don't buy them. And before I get flooded with comments about why I shot the video with a dry vanilla bean, know that it came in a sealed glass jar and I wasn't able to touch it or inspect it first. I took a risk buying it that way, and you see the results of doing so. I was pretty sure there was no pulp inside of it after opening it to make the video, but I went ahead with it anyways because since two beans came in the jar, I just went and got my money back from the store afterwards. So why not make it a teaching experience at the same time? The pulp inside should look like this when you slice it open. This is what a dry one will look like. Hopefully that teaches you a little bit about vanilla beans if you have never worked with them before. Now, back to the eggnog. Got mine from the grocery store. What are you gonna do? So, a little bit of vanilla extract instead. The vanilla extract in. Now is when you wanna add your bourbon. I've got a half cup here. Whatever bourbon you like. You don't have to use bourbon, you can use rum. I'm a bourbon guy. So now we're gonna put this in the fridge while we get to the egg whites. All right. We got our egg whites. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna beat the egg whites until they're soft to medium peaks. It really doesn't matter if it's soft or medium. You just need to get it solidified a bit. And then we're gonna incorporate our sugar. Don't add the sugar to start with. Um, it's gonna deflate the foam that you're trying to make here. Um, and again, on, on the measurements uh, with the cream and the nutmeg and everything, you don't have to get hung up on exact proportions. Um, I know people are asking me about exact measurements in some of my other videos with the spices I use. It's a guideline. You know, you make it yours. That's how you learn to cook. You mess with flavors and play with them. You can always eat your mistakes. Start with a recipe and then change it as you go. So let's uh, get our soft to medium peaks going here. So now, slowly, on, on slow speed, you probably can't hear me with that, on slow speed, start adding your sugar. Four tables. Forgot to say, you're gonna beat this until stiff peaks on this one. There we go. I don't want to take it any further than that. All right. Let's retrieve our cream mixture now. We'll add this in. There's no need to fold it in. Just go slow. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, the difference between the uncooked eggnog and the cooked eggnog is this is not going to be super thick and rich, like uh, almost like a milkshake consistency like you're used to. This is going to be more frothy, more refreshing. Um, totally different type of eggnog, same ingredients either way you do it. Right. It's been a long time since I made eggnog. Looks delicious. It smells really good. Mm. Brought napkins this time. 
That's good. Oh. In my opinion, eggnog doesn't get any better than this. I'm not a fan of the cooked eggnog. Now, there's some great recipes. James is one of them. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. He uses the cooked method. His is a fantastic recipe. I've done recipes just like it before. I haven't done his exact recipe, but I can tell you it's good just by watching the channel and seeing how he did it. Um, but this is my version. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, if you guys don't like the idea of drinking raw egg, well, I'm sorry, go ahead and cook it. Eggs are pasteurized anyway, though, um, unless you get them from a farm, at least here where I live. But this is fantastic. And I got plenty of leftovers for the employees in the morning. All you have to do for the leftovers is just whip it back up. It'll froth right back up for you. You want the froth. It, it shouldn't be pure liquidy. It's got to be froth. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Got a lot of recipes coming for you. Thanks so much, and I'll see you on the next video. I got some on my face, don't I? <laughs> that is eggnog. This is eggnog. This is what you want.